The man accused of lighting a woman on fire at Kipling Station Friday is appearing in court today. Steve Ryan joins us now live with more. Steve, good morning. Hey, George, good morning. We're out front of 2201 Finch Avenue West. That's the courthouse for all the offenses that are committed in the uh, southwest uh, part of the city. So according to the Toronto Police, this occurred Friday at around 12.30 p.m., as we've been reporting on all weekend, where a woman in her 20s was on a TTC bus. And the police alleged that uh, this man in his 30s, for reasons unknown at this point, uh, doused her with a flammable liquid, uh, set her on fire, and then he fled. Now the police are able to track him down and make a, uh, a quick arrest. And this man in his 30s now is facing uh, four very serious criminal charges, attempted murder, assault with a weapon, common nuisance, and mischief. Now, there is news, and that news is that the police believe that these crimes were hate-motivated, which is very, very concerning. Now remember, a hate-motivated crime is not an offense in and of itself. It is the motivation behind why a crime was committed based on many prohibited grounds. And they are such things as sexual orientation, place of birth, color of skin, race, religion. If the Crown believes that offenses were committed as a result of one of those many grounds that I just mentioned to you, upon conviction for any one of those four charges that this man is now facing, the Crown can ask the court to impose a stiffer sentence because of the fact that these crimes were motivated by hate. So it becomes an aggravating factor upon sentencing. It is something that is very concerning for police and for the community as well, George, because you and I have spoken in the past about instances where random acts of violence like that certainly can have a way of paralyzing a community particularly if the police announced that a crime was motivated by hate. Imagine people who are of the same skin color, race, religion, sexual orientation. They may fear that they may be the next victims. This is why this is such an important case. Back up at 1130, the Crown is asking that this man be detained and stay in custody until his trial resumes at 1130. Bring it back to you. Steve, thanks for the details. Appreciate it.